Hello everybody out there in Ruby Lane world. My name is Rachel and I am here live in Ruby Central. And what is Ruby Central? Well, Ruby Central is the home of Tom Johnson, the owner, founder, and CEO of rubylane.com. This month is the 20th anniversary of Ruby Lane, and we have something so special for you because for the first time ever, never happened in 20 years, we are gonna chat live with Tom Johnson and Lucky too, and we are gonna see some of his pieces that he has purchased all through the last 20 years on Ruby Lane that he lives with and loves in his home. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna go live with Tom Johnson and Lucky too. Hello. Hi Ruby Lane. Hi. I'm Tom Johnson, this is Lucky. This is Lucky, she is so sweet and beautiful. We are here live in Ruby Central. Yes, Thank you for inviting us are. here. Yes we are, we're, uh, welcome to my home. We're just going to show you around today and see all the things that uh, are in my house and the things that I've purchased on Ruby Lane over the years. Which is so amazing because you you made the website, but also you use the website. You're constantly buying things. Yeah, that's one of the things. And you know, when I created this website, I have a passion for antiques and vintage. So I really wanted to use the website um, you know, like you should. I want to be buying off the platform that I've created. So. That's what I've done. And Over speaking of, yes, and speaking of creating the website, you created it because you needed it, because you were looking for something. Yeah, so back in the day, um, just the internet had just started, and we were looking for um, 50s dishes. And it was really hard to find them, and eBay had just started, and there were some other sites that are around, um, but there really wasn't anything great that I could uh, find the pottery I was looking for. So um, I had an idea. Um, the internet was just starting then. Nobody knew how to make money off the internet. It was just a big, old, wild, crazy time. And so I uh, decided to create this, uh, the website to search for, make it easy to search for vintage and antiques. And easy it is. And you created such a wonderful pl uh, website, a platform for so many people to buy and sell and live this vintage lifestyle. These you, you made it accessible for people. So speaking of accessible, your home is straight out of a, a vintage wonderland. It is like it is like being in a time capsule. Yeah. The uh, when we have friends, friends or family come over, you know, they, they always comment on, you know, this is a step back in time, our house. So we're in South Florida right now. This is a 1950s home. Um, you know, the trend in Southwest Florida is to rip it down and build something brand new, but we've embraced the old and mm -hmm. because of course we like the old. And um, you know, people come here and they feel really homey because um, you know, it's a 1950s home. It has the low ceilings, um, but we make it work. It um, is. It's so nostalgic for so many people. You walk in the home and it feels just like the vintage movie sets and the TV sets that we have so many good memories of watching in our lives. So exactly. tell us about some of the pieces that are in this living room that you purchased on Ruby Lane. Okay. Well, you know, the thing about vintage and antiques too, but vintage in particular, is it reminds you of another time. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I grew up with, my mom had Franciscan, we, we ate out for Francis, Franciscan dishes every day and she had the starburst pattern. So my sister got that, I got some of her, she went on to um, uh, some whole Howard stuff and other things, but I moved on to uh, Red Wing Pottery. This is uh, something that was purchased off Ruby Lane. This is called Smart Set, from made, made in the 1950s for about four years. It's pretty rare. Um, this is a... Um, a server. We used it actually last night at our 20th anniversary party, and it's just a fun piece. It's hard to find the uh, the metal uh, piece intact, and um, yeah, it's just a fun little piece I found on Ruby Lane. And since then, we've kind of moved. We've liked that pattern quite a bit, and we bought like everything we could. So, right. um, like, there's an, there's another platter over there that we put out. It's a warming platter. Um, with some really cool handles. Again, it's versatile. There's casseroles you can put on here too. But uh, yeah, from the 1950s, hand painted. Everyone's different. So it's really cool, um, something you can't find. And this cool, cool light was also, lamp was also from uh, Ruby Lane. The switch is here. So it's kind of, kind love, of a fun little piece. Love, love. Original lampshade. Yeah. And then we decorated our walls with just vintage photos of 
you know, our, our, our childhood. Your, yes, your childhood and your life. I uh, love a gallery wall. It's just wonderful. The, your party last night was fantastic, and, and the guests I know appreciated that we were all eating off of vintage silverware yes, and vintage dishes. Everything was vintage. Um, we like to use, you know, I, a lot of people think antiques and vintage is like you buy it and you put it, you know, put it away or put it up, just no touch and no feel. We use everything we buy. So everything is used, everything you see we use all the time and it's not just put away in a, in a cabinet to look at. So. And it's so durable. Yeah. You, you, can, you put this in the dishwasher and you can use it oh, and yeah. wash it. And I mean, I tell people that instead of buying you know, the mass produced stuff, why don't you look at vintage? Because vintage is usually a lot more durable, a lot more interesting. And it's, um, you know, you're, it's green. You're, you're not throwing things away, buying something to throw away like in fiber. Exactly. Years, so. If you want to go green, use vintage. You're not making a carbon footprint. You're not, you're supporting, and you're usually supporting a, a small business because all of the shops on your website are all small business, family run. And everybody's small business. And I owe, I owe it to our shop owners who created Ruby Lane, really. Um, they're the life and blood of the, the site. And so uh, I do whatever I can to help them um, sell and um, you know make them very prosperous mm -hmm. and do really a, a, a great job to in selling. Right. Um, and then here, like here's some other stuff I, I purchased. This lamp. Um, it's a 1970 all silver this lamp. This is so groovy. There's actually one on Ruby Lane right now. If you want one, you can purchase <laughs> it right now. Everybody, we'll link to it. And these fun, this fun little, um, you know, just a little fun barware um, set. Uh, we used that last night. These are from my grandma. Look at um, those. Stagels and some um, You Murano. can use grandma's things. They are yeah. fantastic. And this is uh, this J JFK uh, paintings from Ruby Lux. It is, I love it. That's one of my favorite pieces in your home. One of the things I also wanted to touch on is that uh, the vintage items on Ruby Lane are very reasonable. You can buy a set of dishware, Franciscan vintage dishware, for usually less than you can buy some kind of reproduction set yes. at, a, at a boxed store. Yeah, same with glassware. You, most glassware in Ruby Lane is less, way less than you would find at a big box store. Easily. Always. Yes, Easily. very much. Well, and this, uh, this is like an old vintage um, a chrome table, and it's actually two tables. And we just stacked them on top of each other and put shells in from the beach. Oh, you put them in yourself. How fun is that? So we just changed this up a little bit and made it kind of more Florida-like. Just love it. Every little piece here is has its own personalized touch. Tell us about this incredible mirror right here. Well, this mirror is, uh, we bought it about 20 years ago. Um, and it, it, it's a beautiful, um, I, I forget who the maker is, but it, it's a very vintage feel and it goes really well in the space. Technically now it's vintage because it's over 20 years old. Right. That's what we call on Ruby Lane vintage. So um, yeah, it's a great piece and a lot of um, great designers have, have copied this 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 uh, look because it's, it's kind of an illusion and it's kind of fools your eye. Because sometimes you think it's a flower, and sometimes you think it's just a bunch of diamonds, and yeah, so it's, it's it's fantastic. Fun. And and you and your husband Danny, you not just shop on Ruby Lane, you support a lot of the local businesses that are out here in Florida. Yeah, of course. You know, we're in Florida, so there's lots of uh, resale, and there's lots of um, antique and vintage stores because um, things tend to. You know, trade hands a lot down here. <laughs> right. So it's so, a lot of fun, though. You're always on the hunt. Yeah. I like this big. Let's give our viewers a, a peek of this, this furniture. This big because Doris Day just, furniture. Wow. It's actually a big section on. We just split it up to make it look just a little different, but it has original fabric and it's just a fun sofa. And it's so comfortable. Yeah, it's really comfy. The furniture in your house is all vintage and, and wonderful, but it's all usable. You can sit on anything that is in your house. Yep. And we love our Danish table. Um, it's it pulls out. Uh, you know, simple. Oh, leaves. look at that! That's great. And bed twelve on here easily. Just a fun piece. Of chairs and these chairs. You know, again, you can go to a big box store, big, um, you know, fancy furniture store, and buy some chairs. But you know, these chairs are teak, solid, and going to last a lifetime. And they are, and you can get them from a secondhand dealers and on Ruby Lane for just a fraction of the cost. And they're so Easily. cool. Yeah. <laughs> so this cabinet is one of my favorites. This really showcases your your guys' yeah. passion for pottery and the vintage 
dishware. So we just loaded up on, there's, there's a lot of stuff happening in here. So here's some vintage Franciscan up here. These salt and pepper shakers for, from a ruby red take sale in the past. Um, these, these are Hold Howard from the 50s. Um, these are actually tea cozies. Tea, That's a tea? Oh, yes. You know, tea bag cozy to put your tea bag. Yeah, so this is, part of this stuff is my grandma's, and then I've added it from Ruby Lane. Most of this stuff is from Ruby Lane. And these were, these little Florida salt and pepper shakers were purchased from the last Ruby Red Take sale. And then all the flamingos you see are from Ruby Lane. And here's more of our Smart Set Red Wing. And it's just in such beautiful and this condition. this is an example of things growing up. I grew up with these glasses at Christmas. I don't know if you can see, they have a little um, raised um, gem there. Yes. On the, on the Rudolph's nose. They're beautiful. So I grew up with these and I found some more in Ruby Lane. And so are you always on the hunt? Uh, you, you're, you're obviously on Ruby Lane every single day. And yeah, I'm on there every day. <laughs> My wish list is quite long. And so that's why um, you dealers who are watching, you know, the wish lists are really important to look to people uh, wish for things and then you can go look and see who, who's wishing for what and those are, it's a good key indicator to you what people are looking for. And if you have it, you should post it because they're going to get an email saying, hey, here's a new item from your wish list. Exactly. So the shop owners can communicate with the people that are looking for things. Exactly. So important. So, uh... I, Look at this. Rachel's staying in a poodle room. We call I it am the in the poodle room, room and I have a, a toy poodle, so this is just heaven for me. So it was kind of a fun idea. Um, you know, we started out with like a couple of my grandma's poodles. She always, I was infatuated with them when I was little. Again, she lived in California. She had these um, spaghetti poodles. So over the years, we've just, when we travel or, you know, in Ruby Lane or all over the place, we've, we've gotten these. Fun poodles. These are from the last red tag sale. These these little. Uh, Speaking of the red tag sale, we just announced the red tag sale this morning, so that goes live on Thursday. Yeah, so it's our 50, it's our twentieth year, so we're having a fifty percent off red tag sale this coming Friday. At starts at eight a.m. Pacific time. And there's already thousands of items in there for preview. More will get added, but there's always so yeah. many great things. We're going to look at a couple things that you purchased on Red, Red Tag Sales as well yeah. um, in the other room. So here are some more of your poodles. Some more poodles. This guy's from a Red Tag Sale. Look at that. So much fun. I love it. There's the Ruby Reed magazine underneath there. This is just a great guest room. I'm sure your guests always just love staying in yeah, here. Yeah, they love the poodle room. And and those, I don't know if you can see those back there, those little plaques. Yeah, let's take That's a, a red peek. tag sale. So those are red tag items. Look at that. Poodles are so much fun. They are so 50s. So this is our little retro poodle room, yeah. The retro poodle room. I just love it. It's so much fun to go with, to pick a theme and go with it because you can keep building on exactly. it. Exactly. And then on my wish list, you know, I'm just, we're going over the top with this room. So on my wish list, there's like 20 more things of poodle stuff. So. Well, you're probably going to get a bunch more <laughs> shop owners to send you the poodle stuff after this. So now we are here at Ruby. If you guys are tuning in, we are here live with the owner of Ruby Lane, Tom Johnson at Ruby Central out here in Naples, Florida. Now, look at this beautiful beautiful backyard just gorgeous now we're gonna go into your we're gonna cut through the pool area we're gonna try to cut through the pool area if we can get the get in the door so we put some uh vintage these rusty old vintage chairs out here um they're they're kind of fun oh they are fun rusty crackled rusty, weathered crackled. and worn they tell such a story and a little a little pelican back there everywhere you peek there's just something up oh, there goes lucky we got to we gotta grab Lucky. She's hey, Lucky. going out on safari. She's going on safari. There she is. So we're gonna go in here and Denny's gonna take Lucky for a little walk. <laughs> we're gonna be live with Denny. Nothing like uh, live TV. Nothing like live TV. So here we are, there's the great pool. Now we're gonna cut through so we can uh, look at a couple things out here, but we're gonna go through the kitchen. I really like our little, little point out this little oh, gnome look, it's here. It's a laying gnome, usually they're not laying down. Yeah, he's a good Ruby Lane find. Look at that, how fun. Yeah. It's important for our viewers to know that not everything in your house is vintage. No, it's not. Um, I mean, a lot is, but... Uh, most of it is, yeah. but you also buy things from other places to mix and match and to make it work for you. Yeah, so, um, yeah, like all these pillows are obviously new. Right. But, uh, you know, we just but if mix you, them up. And you can the, mix and it up. And the cushions are new, but we have the old, you know, 1950s 
bamboo furniture here. Right, so the point is, if you're out there and you have something, don't be afraid to mix new pillows with a vintage couch or vice versa. Nothing that you do is uh, wrong as long as it fits your lifestyle and your taste and you're having fun with it. We're giving our viewers just another glance of this incredible living room. Now we're gonna go through the kitchen. Now this is where you spend a lot of time yeah. and you have, again, vintage everything. We have vintage everything. Uh, leftovers from our party last night. Yes. These are all vintage glasses. Um, a lot of this stuff is from Ruby Lane. Um, this is, you know, the you know, fun uh, Raffia um, Melmac. Um, just and you can just use it, use, use it, it, use it. We use it all the time. Here's you know, a little dump truck that uh, we that we put uh, gla um, flatware, and it. it's so fun. Yeah, and ours, ours, the silverware we use is is vintage from uh, Dansk. It's called Odin. Um, I think it's in the 50s. Uh, yeah, I bought some of that on Ruby Lane to add to the collection. Um, more fun, interesting Red Wing pottery. Our little guy right here, he's from Ruby Lux. He's fantastic. Yeah. We like and him of, quite a bit. And of course, there's the Ruby Red Cookbook, which is on yes. uh, Amazon for order if you'd like to order it. Yep, right there. It is so great. So, Tom, how has your life been enhanced over the years by collecting and by uh, having this vintage lifestyle? Well, I think that, uh, I, again, I mentioned that uh, it brings back you know, childhood memory. So um, it brings back good times and it, it's just, it makes yourself a unique. If you want something unique and not what everybody else has, mm -hmm. um, this is a way to do it because, you know, there's so many unique things out there and mm -hmm. fun things and it just, it's, and when you, people come over and then they just talk about your house and talk about this stuff. It's, you know. Right, and they a, appreciate a, it. And they appreciate it, yeah. They appreciate it so much. Here's some of the wonderful dishes, again, that you used for your party last night. You have this great ice bucket that you got from Ruby Lane. Yep, that's from Ruby Lane. Um, again, I'm, I'm miscellaneous pieces here and there have been from Ruby Lane. We use an old bread box. We don't put bread in it. We put our... It's your junk drawer. Junk yeah. drawer and charger drawer for phones and stuff. So Which shows those, just a you know, repurposing uh, idea again. You can repurpose. There's just really no wrong way to do it. Right. Yeah. And that's, you know, a lot of people don't like someone who's telling me, oh, you don't want to refinish something you buy and, uh, you know, those kind of stories. But, you know, it's your piece. You can do what you want with it. It know? really is your life. Yeah. <laughs> Live it the way you want, right? Repurpose it yeah. wherever you want it to be. Exactly. Um, that's exactly. The way you do it. So here's your TV room. And one of the things that I love is where you put your te television. Yeah. So he, this is an old um, but, um, console with a, you know, with a granite top, you know, a buffet for a dining room. But we turned it into a uh, we, we, we put our TV in here, and so uh, we just watch our TV you watch your on the floor. And it, you hide your TV, and the flat screen's in there, and, and it, works it works perfectly. Great. Here's the old, old duck on one of our travels we found. <laughs> Just you, fun stuff. Just fun stuff. Just little touches. And, and what, what's your, what is your secret sauce for, for figuring out where to put things? Do you just put it there and see if you like it? Well, actually, our friends at the party, funny should say that last night, said, you guys move stuff around a lot, don't you? So you'll, every time you come to our house, you know, basically it's the same, but there's always, we're always moving around artwork. Which makes we love, it more fun. We love artwork. And you don't have to keep the same thing in the same place all the time. So we just move it around and it, it changes things up. We move always the, the knickknacks and the, the little stuff are always get moved all the time. For the season and, and stuff season like that. Season or just, you know, just to change things out. Because you can't, as you get the bug, you, you tend to buy too much. <laughs> so some things are in, you know, the closet and then they come out and the other, some things go right. back. So that's yeah. how we do it. Well, you certainly have some great ideas. This great is from Ruby just showing that you can uh, you How can actually ship fun. you can ship you know things things are shippable now I think everybody knows that when back in the day 20 years ago that was a big challenge because nobody thought you could um, ship, you know, ship anything let alone buy something on the internet from someone you don't know so those mentalities have all changed and that's made things a lot easier but and speaking of somebody you don't know what is one of the benefits of buying through ruby lane because you uh you the sellers that are on ruby lane are trusted you we people yeah we're we're a vetted site so mm -hmm. everybody on ruby lane has been vetted and curated and we constantly monitor that um so uh, compared to other sites it's pretty much a free-for-all, so someone can lift something as vintage or antique, and I'm sure you've searched the web, you've seen this quite a bit, 
you have your vintage, you know, Barbie doll that's produced from, last year. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or the antique uh, table from Pottery Barn, or right. you know, just silly stuff. So on our site, we're um, we we vet the dealers, we vet the listing. So you're searching. If you're searching for something vintage, you're going to get something vintage. If you're searching for something antique, you're going to get something antique. So yes, and you have an in-house uh, staff of curators who know what they're doing. Who uh, a lot exactly. of them are sellers themselves, and they 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 they've been doing this their whole life, so they really have a good eye. Yes, they do. Um, you know, our our team is you know another big component of Ruby Lane mm -hmm. to a success. So. You know, I thank my, my wonderful team for that. And we have a great, like you said, Rachel, a great set of people who are watching and looking and reviewing. And mm -hmm. We have a review system where other shop owners can, can say something to us, the staff, saying, I don't know if that's quite right or, you know, it might be in the wrong category. And we'll look at it and then decide whether it's um, should And be they certainly welcome. That. We learn every day. Yeah, it's from a great people. learning opportunity yeah. for our shop owners. Right, absolutely. Yeah. So if you guys are just tuning in, please share the video for the 20th anniversary of Ruby Lane, which I believe is the 15th of this month. We are here yes. live with Tom Johnson in Ruby Central. Now we keep keep saying the name Ruby. For our viewers who don't know, who is Ruby? Well, Ruby is actually my mom. So I named the company after my mom, who's um, still with us and she's 91 and she lives um, in Southwest Florida too. And yeah, she's, she's, she's great and she was a big inspiration for mm -hmm. the site and you know, my, uh, how I run the site. I like to, um, you know, I, I like to give the best back to my dealers and to the people who are buying. So I want to get the best experience for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, we're not some big corporate conglomerate and we don't have people, stockholders telling me what to do. Right. You know, it's just me. Um, so. so, and that way you can keep the best interest for your customers and for your shop owners at, at the forefront of everything that you do. Exactly. So, yeah. it's so. wonderful. So, here we are. We are exiting the living room, and there's Miss Lucky Peanut. Lucky she Peanut. she's always on uh, on her duty right here. This is just a, a stupid little chrome table, you know, from the seventies, and we just. It's stacking, but I just you know flipped them around to make it kind of interesting. So, and of course we have right. our vintage uh, TV, TV trays. trays. Ready Love to go. Em. Love them. Now your bedroom is just it's just phenomenal. Perfect. We're just gonna pan real quick. Look at this. Just everything that we would want um, in a vintage home. Is this what you envisioned when you purchased the home? Um, you know. Uh, Kind of, uh, because it was it was a it was a vintage home. You know, it's a 1950s home, and you know we wanted it to be true to the style of the home. And you know, as we've been here 20 years, almost as long as um, Ruby Lane. Mm -hmm. So you know, over the years, it's changed and morphed, and now it's you know, it's, it's fun. It is so much fun. So you've got an eclectic mix of a lot artwork. of stuff going on. So mm -hmm. we love artwork. Um, this was purchased, this uh, wonderful piece from the 40s was just purchased at the last Ruby Red Tag sale. That is great. You would think I don't have any more room for artwork, but we always try to find some place. Well, and it's <laughs> important to switch out your art too, because then you can really it enjoy it. Yeah. And then our bedside tables are actually uh, buffet tables uh, that would again go in the dining room. But usually. they work so well in here. But we just put them in here and these Two matching fabulous lamps were purchased on Ruby Lane a couple years ago. And we there's a, a cast iron um, uh, Boston dog. Terrier. Of course, we like dogs. Rob just tuned in. We are here live with Tom Johnson. Hi, and Rob. yes, everyone is watching. This is such a treat. The red tag sale just went live, and we are in the home. We're calling it Ruby Central. It's Tom Johnson's. Um, mothership out here in uh, vintage world in Naples, Florida. So we, we've got this great bed. I just love the headboard. Yeah, so the headboard vintage, the light, the, the mirrors are also vintage too now. Um, so, and these are, you know, some, um, these, these wonderful McGuire stools. Uh, those are a good find locally. So we find we do find things locally, of course, like as you said. Locally, you're always going to uh, local co-ops and um, you know, flea markets or anywhere you can. It's, it's important to keep your eye out. Yeah, and like uh, these these um, wonderful little stools, they're stacking. There's two more over there. Um, 
I, I purchased a house right after college in upstate New York, and uh, I purchased it from an elderly couple, and they just left all their stuff. Oh, know? my gosh. And it was all antique, and, you know, most people just said, to, like, get rid of all that stuff. So, but I, you know, even back then, I was like, oh, I'm going to keep some of this stuff. Because I think it's going to be pretty cool. So. You had a vision, and it has come to fruition, this this body of work, this website that has connected so many people with everything that they love and look for. It just means so much. Yeah. It means so much to so many people. Look at this um, great buffet you have here with some more of your treasures. Yeah, another buffet that belongs in the dining room, but it's in our bedroom. So, um, And when I, this is, this is a find from uh, like a 200-year-old lantern from Japan when I lived my time in Japan. This is a beautiful painting I got at Red Take Sale two years ago, I think. Yeah. Just love it. Just love it. And then, of course, you have in your bathroom more vintage and, and just antique touches. Everything is just... Music from Ruby Lane. We put our... Um, uh, um, little apothecary... Apothecary... Uh, um, gizmos. gizmos. <laughs> yeah, that's the name. And I always... I love this. In all our houses, we have... Another purchase from Ruby Lane, we put our um, mouthwash in our in old decanter. That is so much fun. So again, repurpose. Decanter mm -hmm. is usually for alcohol. But repurpose, case, reuse. If you want to do something good for the environment, you can start by using what you have and buying things that are not newly manufactured. Exactly. So we are going to go out into the pool area and look at a couple more things. But Tom, when you created this website 20 years ago, you, you had your first shop and then you had your second shop and then you had 10 shops. Yeah. When did you decide, when were you standing at the edge of that cliff and you said, you know what, I'm going to jump and make this my career? Well, you know, I, I jumped pretty quickly into it because, um, you know, back in the day, I quit my, I quit my job you know full force all our compete competitors at the time were doing double duty they're doing they're trying to start a website and they're trying to work at the same time and we just decided to go full force jump right in mm -hmm. and take the internet by storm know, by storm you did because that's the way you have to do it and we've just been going 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 since you know there's the time in the the internet bubble came around in the 2000 and that was a trying time for you know a lot Everybody. of websites went away mm -hmm. and we survived and um, we we stayed true to what we were and, and that's why we were we're still around yes what, what is one of your one of the things that you think is the secret sauce of why you have survived and been around and and well, not had anything affect you like that well I try I listen you know it's good to listen to outside sources but we did not take outside money in so mm -hmm. I had my own destiny in my in my own hand so that was a big key factor because so many people had investors and then they weren't making money and they had to just shut shut down there are there are sites now in that situation unfortunately so mm -hmm. um, I think that you'll see more of that in the coming years but we I stay true and you know I, it, it is my company, so that's right. that's a big thing. Another thing is, I like automation. Um, you can't really tell as a user or a, or a shop owner, I hope, but we, we automate lots of stuff. And so we can cut down on our staff. We don't have to have hundreds and hundreds of staff people. So we try to automate as much as possible everything we do. Well, it's always been a, a very small, tightly knit run company. And I, I myself have been a shop owner in Ruby Lane for 14 years. And I remember when yeah. I joined, we would always receive emails from you and we still do from you right. that you wrote. And that means so much to us. Yeah, well, we really try hard. Um, you know, there, there's, a, there's a survey called e-commerce bites and we've been number one in customer service and communication for the last eight years, you know, in, in various categories. And so we're really proud of that. We're, we're competing against the big boys, you know, Amazon, Etsy, uh, eBay. And so we're beating them out in, in that, those categories. So we're really proud about that. And the number one place last year to, or this year, I should say, to sell online is Ruby Lane. I know, it's just so wonderful. Yeah. Uh, one of our viewers, Lynn, just said, the site reminds me of a quote by Winnie the Pooh that says, we didn't realize we were making memories, we just knew we were having fun. There you go. Isn't that sweet? That's great. Just love it. So out so here, around here pool, yeah. yeah. So we took an old cabinet and, and re repurposed it again, uh, painted it, and this is where our old towels and our beach stuff and stuff like that goes. We threw a vintage boat up at the top. Handmade vintage from someone in, in uh, Southwest Florida. So. so great. And these beach pails are just wonderful. The pails are from Ruby Lane. They're actually in a photo shoot on, um, in Country Living. 
a couple years ago. So they're really fun. Um, just, you know, fun things you can't, you can't get anymore. It's so fun and wonderful. And we are just, if you're tuning in, we're here live with Tom Johnson and we're seeing how he not only created Ruby Lane, but he lives Ruby Lane. Yes. Your house is a live version of Ruby Lane. And we even have some dolls over there. We even have some dolls. But I want to point out this plot first that. because this is our one of our most recent uh, Ac Ruby Lane acquisitions. You know, we bought it from a shop owner who gave us a whole story about how it was their parents. And it was a really nice story. This is all inlaid glass. Um, George Brad, it's a great clock. It is a great clock, and that is, that's important because you bought it from a shop owner who it was their parents, so maybe they don't necessarily, it doesn't serve their lifestyle, but it exactly. is okay to move it to somebody else that it does. Exactly. Because we don't, we don't actually own things, we just take care of them for a while, right? Yeah. So we have all this great, we just had breakfast out here. We just had a fun, this is a fun little Florida uh, issue with the little glasses, kind of every little touch everything you use there's just no going back because when you use the real thing and you have it everything is elevated yeah. your senses the way it feels in your hand now ruby lane is also the doll world's home yeah. <laughs> that's right so we have become because rachel is a great uh you know uh, person for the doll 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 lane as we call them so the dolls are really important to ruby lane and of course we have dolls um we have barbie dolls here and we uh yeah the the, the uh, we set up a little little a barbie little, and little, ken and it's their friends so much fun barbie Kipper. and ken and friends we have a yeah. we have a category on ruby lane called barbie and friends the dolls lane is always kicking. It's always hot. There's there's always something doll happening. And your husband Denny, we're going to be doing some videos with him. He loves doll houses and he loves miniatures and he loves that whole other world. Yeah. When you started Ruby Lane, did you ever think that it would become one of the doll capitals of the never, world? Never, 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 <laughs> never thought that in a million years. But it's great. Um, the doll community is fantastic, and I, we embrace them uh, with full. Full spread Full out open arms, arms. So, right? Yeah, we're uh, we are definitely the doll world's home. Love it. Thank you so much, Tom. What would you like to say to your your friends, your family, your shop owners, your staff before we sign off? I here? just want to thank. It's yeah. been a great twenty years. We're in the twentieth year at Ruby Lane, and I just want to thank everybody: our shop owners, our staff, our customers, all the years you've all made this happen. And I'm really grateful for that. And we are all celebrating together. So Tom, congratulations and thank you for chatting with us thank today. Thank you so much, Rachel. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.